Good day. Here we are at the Colorado River. We're at an inlet, the same inlet in which I did my video about the coot, the American coot. So just enjoy a few sights and sounds here at the Colorado River inlet here in southwest Arizona. Here we have some nice ringtail tracks. So ringtails are Arizona's state mammal. And they're very elusive, they're nocturnal, so we'd never see one of these during the day. But it's really fun to see their tracks. I'll give you different angles so you can see what a track looks like, what the tracks look like with uh, different light variations. So the ringtails belong to the same family as raccoons. Uh, most people <laughs> don't know much about ringtails because uh, they don't typically, they're not typically interested in human garbage like raccoons are, from my understanding. Um, but they're really adorable. They have very long tails that basically match the length of their head and entire body with around 16 stripes. Also, how I know these are ringtail, I did look at their tra tracks online, so I know what they look like. But they are about the length of the first two digits of my forefinger. I measured it. So about an inch and a half long. Of course, sizes vary, but around that. And then the width, you can see in comparison to my, let me see if I can get it to focus see it in comparison to my pointer finger there. Here we have some more nice coot tracks and another set over here. So it's always fun to find animal tracks on a beach. And this is like a clean slate because now there are five, a series of five dams uh, throughout the Colorado River system and as the dams are being used of course the water level rises and falls so here you can see the water rose sometime over the night you can see the water line here here I'll point to it right here water line. So these look like raccoon tracks. The ringtail tracks look more like cat paw tracks and if we look at a real ringtails, the, the bottom of their feet, you'll see that they look like paws. Um, but raccoons have more finger-like appendages, feet. So the raccoons and the ringtails are passing by each other. Here's a fun little work of art that one of my caravan members created. And you can see the coot tracks around it too. It's just really pretty. And there's even a glass bottle ring top of a glass bottle, probably a beer bottle. 
So here we have some little hidey hole homes, most likely some rodents. That one's really cool. Let's get in there and see what we got. Another little hidey hole. All right, thank you for watching this next episode here with Nature Walks with Nature Glow. And today was pretty awesome. We saw some ringtail tracks on the Colorado River Inlet Beach. We saw some more American coot tracks along with an American coot. We now hear a belted kingfisher. I don't know if you heard that or not. I hope it picks up on the recording. I couldn't get any good footage of the belted kingfisher though as it was in the shadows and I don't have the camera for that. So thank you for joining me. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and scroll down and look at the resources for today's nature walk and I hope you do a potential homeschool unit mini unit study about some of the things we saw. Bye bye now.